And I mean that from my core. So thank you all so much for being here. Thank you all so much for spending your Thursday night with us. I know that this can change your life, but for you just to come meet new people, get out of the house, be in such a beautiful venue. I didn't even know we were in this ballroom. Like, it's beautiful. So thank you, thank you, thank you. So I do want to say welcome to everybody. This is Passion Nation celebration, and I cannot even believe I'm saying that right now. You guys, the top level of the company was nothing I anticipated. It wasn't even on my radar when I began. And to be here right now in this moment is blowing my mind. So thank you for sharing this moment with me and being here. But before I start, I'm going to do something. I love that Victoria did this. I would like my team, please, Passion Nation, stand up. Guys, look around this room. Look at all of these individuals. men on my team as well okay <laughs> but I will tell you guys this is simply part of us you guys stay up for a second oh, <laughs> sorry this is simply just part of us if you look at the screen over here this is the USA every single heart represents a team in every single state up there we are in 28 states we did that together you guys we did that we are in four countries Canada, the United States, Australia, and the UK. Take that in. This is not just a Delaware thing. This is bigger than what we all are standing here representing today. And I wanted you all to capture that moment with me. It's beautiful. We did that. And I'm proud of every single one of you for getting out of your comfort zone and spreading it with people that are in other states. To have a team elsewhere, that's beautiful. Now, before you guys sit down, I'd like to call on some of you. I'm going to pull my teacher mode out right now. I want you to tell me why you said yes to Argonne. Heather Rooks, why did you say yes? In a sentence. <laughs> if you can try. <laughs> the product, product, product quality and the opportunity for time freedom. Thank you. Anna Peters. Uh, the amazing products that literally transformed me. I want to share that with everyone else. I love it. Sheila McNasby. Uh, I love it. Shannon Wharton. An extra income, and I need to stay looking young forever. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it would be funny. I love you. Harlan <laughs> Mercado. So I retired myself out of my 23-year business and earn extra income, and as a two-time cancer survivor, keep myself healthy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. As you can see, we're all here for different reasons. It's not just about protein and physics and looking pretty and makeup and all that. It is so much more. And I know that every single one of you are here not just for yourself. You guys are more than just a person in my organization. Hello. <laughs> you are my. <laughs> Hello! You are my family! You guys are the reason I wake up every single day, and you all know that. I am right. I, I don't even need this. <laughs> you are my inspiration. You guys are my tribe. You are my people. You are my blessings. You are my dreams come true, but for real. You are my vision board come to life. You guys are my prayers answered. Thank you, every single one of you, for trusting in me, trusting in my leadership, trusting in my experience, going before you to grow, to learn, to gather information, to work the system, and eliminate all the hiccups so you guys didn't have to go through that. <laughs> but we all will. This day is about every single one of you. As much as it's Katie Kaz, whatever, it's all you. Because this isn't possible without all of us together. So, it's only the beginning, and I know that for darn sure, this is only the beginning. Thank you guys for being here tonight, and with that being said, I love the present, I love right now, I love where my life is. Thank you, Todd Russo, I love it. But I will tell you, it is about what happened four years ago. And I want to tell you about a girl that went from an eager, excited new teacher that was just graduating from college to a girl that was just scraping to get by. 
out of nowhere, she then picked up a little side hustle income, or so she thought. And you guys, that girl was me. I don't know why that's doing that. <laughs> Hang on. That girl was me. I had no idea what was in store for me. I had no confidence whatsoever. I had no big dreams. I was not a dreamer, nor did I say that word out of my mouth. Girl boss and dream big, no, not in my vocabulary. I had a very small little friend group, and my sister was one of my best friends. <laughs> she still is, but I had like two. I gained 50 pounds since my senior year of college to when I started Arbonne. So within a two-year gap, I gained 50 pounds. I was eating out all the time. I had a gym membership I didn't use. I'm sorry, Dad. I was drinking black box wine every single night while watching Netflix and grading papers. I never passed up happy hour, ever. I, <laughs> I hear you, girl. I love the happy hour. I never passed up nachos with my girlfriends. I tried several fad diets, one even taking me. Um, I fainted at work as a teacher in my classroom and went in an ambulance from school to the hospital because I was skipping meals. So as a result of that, I had then ended up in and out of doctor's offices. And I had stomach issues. I had anxiety. I had constant headaches, skin issues, IBS. The list goes on. I even had two surgeries to figure out what was going on. You know what they told me? Clean it up. Fix your diet. I said... How? I don't know, talk to a nutritionist. I said, what the heck? You know, that was what I went through. And you know, Mom, I went through that for years. It tore me apart. But along with the personal health struggles, I also struggled financially. It's crazy. Even as a teacher, I kept finding myself with $50 at the end of every two weeks. And yeah, I called my mom and I'd say, can you transfer some money? Like, I need help. I was liberal on the totem pole at school. So as a teacher, I had to start over every year, every single year. I lost my job because of Delaware State budget cuts. So every year I came back, whether it was the same school, a different school, I was with a new team, new grade level, new kids. I never kept the same grade level. I switched every year. So when people ask me, what did you teach? I was like, everything, because I was. <laughs> But not only did I work seven to four as a teacher every day, which I love my teachers, we need you. It's a beautiful job and I loved it. But I had to get a second job and a third job and a fourth job. So I was bartending, I was babysitting, I was coaching cheerleading, all while working on my master's degree. So when my life was at the absolute craziest, it was the summer of 2015 and that's when Arbonne found me. I posted on my Facebook page I was looking for babysitting gigs. And that's when Liz and I connected again. She immediately messaged me and said, I need you this week. And I said, I'm there. I walked into her kitchen and I stood in her kitchen and I saw her for the first time in about three years for like for real focused. And I was in all about her current life. She had a ha her beautiful, beautiful house in Hokesson. Her kids were so loving and happy. She had a big body at 40, and I was like, dang, I want to look like that. <laughs> she had time freedom. It was 9.30 in the morning. She was going wherever she was going, and I was like, I'm watching your kids, and I'm 23 years old. This is, there's something wrong here. She had a white Benz in her driveway. It was like God was sending me signs in that moment to take, a, to take a peek at all the things around me. Why was I aware of all of those things at 23 years old? I don't know, but now I do. It was signs for my path to change routes and go a different way. I grew up in a very nice house with very successful parents. Thank you guys so much for all you've done. And I know we don't say it enough, but I'll be the sensitive one as I always have. <laughs> Kelly can vouch, right? <laughs> we had a lot of options. We traveled every year. I still remember one Christmas I woke up and we all got suitcases and I was like, this is cool, you know, great, thanks for the luggage. And my mom said, open it. Santa brought you something really great. And I was like, oh my gosh, we were getting on a plane that afternoon to go to Disney World. Yeah. You guys. <laughs> yeah, I know. We had the pool, we had the basement, the finished basement with all the games, and all of our friends always wanted to come over to our house. I had it made. So as a teacher, making $2,000 a month, started out at $1,200, I didn't know how I was going to be able to do that for my future family, for my kids. I didn't want to depend on a man to do that for me, and I still don't, and he knows that. <laughs> I literally 
finally thought to myself that day, I'm 23 years old. Why am I thinking all of these things? This has to be a sign. And that's why I said yes to Liz immediately. I didn't know how I would pay for it. I didn't know how I would start. But immediately I saw, we talked about the dairy-free chocolate protein, and boom, I was in. I had struggled with so many of those stomach issues, but this was the protein for me. And I know you guys weren't expecting that, a bag of protein to really turn my wheels, but that's exactly how it happened. She shared four things with me that day. Actually, yeah, okay. She shared four things with me that day, four key things, and these are things I want to share with you, and I want to tell you why they changed my life, the alteration of it all. Number one, she had lost 25 pounds with the 30 days to healthy living. So I was like, well, I'm 50 pounds heavier than I ever was, right? You're laughing, it's true. And I was like, I want in on this, so I want to do it. And number two, you can gain confidence and personal growth skills. And I'm like, well, okay, I really need that. Number three, you can earn a white Mercedes with the cash bonus. So I, was, so I thought that that was totally out of my league and was never going to happen, but it sounded really, really cool. And number four, you can earn an extra thousand dollars a month at the first level. So my eyes were on that first level. I told her, I said, I'm going to be a district manager. And that's what I'm doing, and that's all I need. Thank you. Show me out. And that's what that's exactly what happened. So my journey began immediately, and I went home and I told my dad, and he was washing the car, and I was in the driveway, and I'm sitting on the tailgate, and I'm like, listen. There's this opportunity, there's this nutrition program, and I'm going to get fit again, I'm going to get skinny, it's going to be great, there's an income attached to it, I'm going to make thousands of dollars a month, trust me, the first level is an extra thousand, and dad, I'm going to be earning a white Mercedes Benz, and he goes, <laughs> shit, I'm like, no, seriously, he said, call me when you get it, Kate, and I'm like, let me go talk to my mom, you know, you talk to Kim, like, she's in, she's always down for it, so, she was the first person at my launch and all of that. But right away I signed up. Luckily I signed up before I asked my dad, so that was pretty good. And <laughs> it turns out it was the biggest blessing that I didn't know I needed. So as you guys can see here, um, well that was me. Uh, yeah. So my, that was I graduated from you. Sorry. There we go. So number one, it's my results. Okay? My health changed first, and the 30 days to healthy living in my first month, I lost 16 pounds, and I felt amazing. I'm not telling you, all right, guys, let's all lose weight. It's not about that. It's about feeling good inside. So I was grateful for this, but I continued to live it. I ended up down 30 pounds in six months in a healthy way. I was eating all the time, but I was not working out yet. That was not something that was in my routine. I looked like an entirely new me. I cleared my skin, I got off of every single medication, and my mom knows I was waking up taking seven a day. And I gained all my energy back, which was amazing. But one year of this simple routine, just following this, I started to add fitness in a few times a week. And you guys, the only reason I started to add fitness in, truth, I've never said this out loud, was because of Todd. I met him that summer. <laughs> Well, he did CrossFit, and I was like, well, I better join a CrossFit gym where he's not going to date me because he won't date CrossFit. He won't date someone that's not a CrossFit girl, so I need to be a CrossFit girl. And that's where my journey began. I wanted to impress Todd. <laughs> but after that, I ended up losing another, a little bit more weight, and I was 41 pounds down, healthier than I ever been. We enjoy margaritas and chips and guac. His daughters know it. We love it. I'm obsessed with chips. But you guys, at the root of it, I wake up excited now. I wake up excited not for me, but to teach other people how to do this. That's why I wake up every day. And I want other people to be healthy, and I found a freaking passion because of it. So I will tell you, I even went and got certified in healthy living from Cornell University because I wanted to know more. I wanted to be validated. I wanted everyone to know that this is something that really, truly means something to me. And number two, it was my confidence. And as you guys can see here, it grew. I now lead my team to become the best versions of themselves. And before Arbonne, I napped away the troubles. I cried a lot. Liz is like, yeah. <laughs> I was insecure in my own skin. I never, ever was seen in a bikini, and I bartended at the beach. So y'all know that. I was like, my dad was like, let's go on a boat. I was like, in a sweatshirt. <laughs> I struggled with trusting people very, very much. I definitely am getting over that in my journey. I didn't read. 
I cared what others thought about me. I didn't sleep well. I envisioned my life teaching until I was 50 plus years old. I didn't have a savings account and I started dating a financial planner, so that was a problem. And I sure didn't know how to budget on payoff debt, and he's definitely taught me how to do that. So today, I have none of these struggles. I grew physically, mentally, emotionally, and why? Because this is what we do in Argonne. This is what we teach you what to do. It's not about the products, it's about more than that. It's all about you. And then the Mercedes happened. And as you guys can see here, 10 short months after, I called my dad up and I said, let's go, we're going to Mercedes. <laughs> and he goes, huh, what? I said, we're going right now. And he did. And we went and picked out the Benz and he was mind blown. As a CPA, he, I mean, he was definitely skeptical. And this was the day he finally was like, Kate, this is pretty cool. We drove away at 24 years old, uh, me, at 24 years old, and we were in a brand new white Mercedes paid for by Arbonne's cash bonus, and I was still teaching full time. I continued to teach. But then number three was, sorry, my clicker isn't working very well. Number, th number four is the $1,000 a month, and that happened very quickly and it sparked my interest on earning more and helping other people do the same damn thing. That's what I wanted. I wanted, it covered, that thousand dollars covered my loans, it covered my credit card debt, it covered my, um, my credit card debt. It actually gave me shopping money so I didn't have to call my mom up anymore. <laughs> but it motivated me to keep going. And within five months of just doing the same thing and following the system, I matched my teacher paycheck. And right there, I felt like a millionaire. I was like, this is awesome. I can do this. And that's when I also was able to help my teammates earn a $1,000 paycheck as well, three of them in that same month, which was beautiful. 10 months in, my team and I promoted to that Ben's level, and that's that average income of five to $15,000 a month. And I, yes, I continued teaching while I did it. So that was beautiful, life-changing, financial freedom for me at 24 years old. But two years in, I realized if this paycheck, if this is really, this is really happening, I can walk away from my teaching career. So I talked with my financial planner and we decided that it was definitely something that could work. As long as I covered my part, which I have done every single month, and I was able to do that. So at 25 years old, I, walk away from, I walked away from my teaching career. I put my back up against a wall, scared to death. My parents were like, come on, we just paid off your college fund. <laughs> no. um, but truly, I, Still am using it today. I'm still teaching just in a different way. But at that time, I recommitted myself, and there was no, no other choice. I had to grow. This. this was my income. There was no salary to fall back on, and I still had responsibilities to pay for monthly, and I made it happen. As you guys can see, three years in, all the growth that has happened, you can see the shift. I started making five-figure monthly paychecks, getting recognized for bringing so many teammates on board, earning free trips, now taking teammates with me. Victoria, we're going to Mexico. Woo! And I even had a friend, Victoria, earn her white Mercedes as well, and there's eight more lined up, and I know who you are. I will call all of you out right now. But with this excitement and this simple system that was happening and staying consistent, within three and a half years, at 27 years old, we promoted to the top of the company. Three and a half years. Guys, think of you three and a half years ago. What were you doing? I mean, this is crazy. And now we're going to Maui. We're going to Hawaii. It's insane. But I want to tell you guys about today. Today, four years later, was the journey challenging at times? Yep. Was I ever feeling defeated or tired or unsure? Yes. Was I... Did I ever have people quit my organization? Yep, very many. <laughs> Did I have people say that they were gonna go to the top and then they vanished and ended up on the back of a milk carton? You know, remember those? Yeah, yeah, that happened. Mm. Did people say no to me still? Yeah, absolutely. Did people tell me that this was dumb? Do they still, did they then? Yes, they did. Did I ever question myself? Yes, I did. Do I cry? Did I cry? Yes, I do. Yes, I did. But did I ever quit? No, not one month, not ever. Not ever, not once did I ever give up on my business, even through the hard stuff. I still did something. I did this through teaching, through coaching, through bartending, through babysitting, through tough times, through sickness, through busy calendars, through family events, 
birthday parties, holidays, school, essays, sports games, being a friend, being a daughter, being a granddaughter, being a niece, a sister, a new girlfriend, a new fiance, a new stepmom, having fun, traveling, working out, making new relationships, growing a team, losing a team, rebuilding a team, helping my team, training my team, helping my clients, going back to school, personal development, self-care, cooking, laundry, cleaning, wrapping presents, getting in a car accident, and planning a wedding. <laughs> Today, I have passion, and that's the reason I was able to stick through it through it all. I have a burning desire to help other people have what I have. Time freedom, choices, traveling the world, yeah, there are seats for you. Helping my teammates getting healthy, my teammates have become family. Before Arbon, I never had a savings account, and within this past year, Todd and I were able to save in one year $100,000. I've never done that in my life before. It was beautiful. But my why is bigger now. Sorry, I wish this worked better. We are now building our dream home at Rehoboth Beach within the next year, and that's because of Orban. It's given us an option. Todd also works his butt off, but we definitely make such a great team. My why is bigger than ever, and as you guys can see up on the screen, I want you to take this in. Because I didn't know three and a half years ago that I would be a stepmom. I didn't know I would meet the love of my life randomly through one of my best and dearest friends, who I met the same night as him. So it's just funny the way it all worked out. But my why is bigger than ever. It's entirely wrapped around other people. It's entirely wrapped around helping other people grow their confidence, their health, their income, their mindset, while giving Todd and his daughters the best freaking life that I can provide. I don't want these girls to struggle like I did. I know. <laughs> with insecurity, with debt, with health, I don't want them to go through it. So I work hard every day. <laughs> I did this earlier in the car when I practiced, so, but not as bad. I just want everybody to have options, and I want us all to enjoy our life to the fullest. So Todd, thank you for always, always pushing me to be better. As you always say, you, you say I would have made it here with or without you, but I sure as heck love being here with you. And I've learned so much through all that you've learned in your journey through life. And I just thank you for it because it does make me better every day. And I'm so excited for the future because I know that this is just the beginning. Whether we're at the top or not, I know it's time for all of you guys to rise up. And Ashlyn and Avery. Thank you for supporting me every single day. Thank you guys so much for counting down how many kits we had until we finished for Nation. They checked the board every day, you guys, and they're, they just were right there, and it was so great. But thank you for cheering me on, and thank you for believing in me, and I cannot wait to take you guys to Mexico with us. <laughs> possible because of our mission. We are here to create a, mo a movement that empowers people with sustainable, healthy living while we build virtual empires alongside of our busy freaking lives, because I know we are all busy. As you can see here, we do what we can do from our phones and our cars together. So in closing, you guys may be thinking to yourself, I'm too busy, Katie, I'm too busy. Guys, busy people are the freaking best at this. It's what I did. It's what I did. They know how to get things done. They only have so much time in a day, so they're going to figure it out. You might be thinking to yourself, I'm skeptical that this won't work. Skepticism is actually a good thing because it means that you're aware. It means that you're probably going to be asking questions, and you're most likely going to be coachable. I don't have the money. You don't have $49 to start your business. You don't have $49 to start your account. It's less than an Amazon Prime. It's less, and I guarantee you all have that. 
It's five acai bowls, which I'm obsessed with. <laughs> I take them back here. <laughs> and I definitely have five this month. But it's the new shoes you just bought. It's just redirecting your spending. However, $49 can come back. And guess what? $49 can turn into $1,000, $5,000, $22,000 a month. It's all up to you. Do you care what other people think of you? You're saying that to yourself. I care what people think of me. Why? Why do you care what people think of you? I spent too much time as that girl, and I will never go back there. Yeah. The opinions of others don't pay your bills. <laughs> they don't take your family to Mexico. <laughs> the opinions of others do not give you time. They don't give you freedom, and they don't give you your life back. I don't believe in myself. Well, honey, join the club because neither did I. Me and the couch were best friends. Me and my wine were best friends. That's where it all started. And that's why there's sustainable leadership. Can you tell that you're going to be supportive? <laughs> a reliable community, a family waiting for you with open arms. You will believe in yourself if you give us the opportunity to help you. This year, in 2019, we will be making our way to a million dollar team with five teammates or more in their white Mercedes beds. And I said eight earlier because I know that there are eight of you that can do this and will do this. I will be an executive national vice president, but I will be an executive national vice president too wide. So I want to ask you guys, if you keep doing what you're doing, where will you be in five years? Think about it. Seriously, right. for a second. Where will you be? <laughs> Woo! Well, that's beautiful vision. Where will you be next year? Woo! I've got my arm bombers in here. And will you be happy there? Because that's truly what it, what, it, what it all boils down to. So I want you guys to see what 2020 looks like. That's my, my dream house. And those are my people. And those are all of our cars. And I want you guys to get out of your own freaking way because we can help you have what we have. The choice is just up to you and there is a spot for you. I see it, I breathe it, I live it, and I thank you all for being here with me tonight. Meeting. Sorry. <laughs> That's what we do. <laughs> to wrap up the evening with all of us. And this person means the absolute world to me. I love him so much. He is my teammate. He is my partner. He's one of my most favorite people in the world. I fell in love with him the day I met him. And it was totally random. And as soon as I saw him, I knew. I went home to my mom after about three weeks of dating him, and I said, I'm marrying that man. I'm marrying him. My dad was in the other room, and he was like this. <laughs> my dad knew Todd, and he was like, gosh, he's a really good guy. But you know what, Kate? Go, go with your heart. And I did. And I showed up. And I always will. And I am bowing to you that, and I cannot wait to marry you in two months, but I want you to get up here and speak to everybody. So I never had problems talking in front of people, ever, but I don't think I've ever heard anything like that, ever, so. <laughs> yes. Right. <laughs> so I'm going to talk about a couple things, but before I do, I just want to put a couple things in perspective. So when I met Katie, I had actually heard of Arbonne before, probably about eight or ten years earlier. A friend of mine was, was doing Arbonne, and I was like, ugh, oh, Arbonne. <laughs> that skincare stuff. Because that's what it was eight to ten years ago. But before I start, perspective. The first level of the company is district manager. The second level of the company is four times. You have to do four times as much at the second level that you did at the first level. And the third level is four times what you did at the second level. 
and the fourth level is four times what you had to do to get a white Mercedes at the third level. So if you think about that, that sounds like a lot. And you definitely cannot do that by yourself. Okay, You have to have people that surround themselves with you, believe in you, and come with you. Um, NVPs, National Vice Presidents, are the top 1% of the 200,000 worldwide Arbonne consultants. That's freaking awesome. <laughs> So I want to talk about three things, Katie, Arbon, and a couple things that I've learned over the years. Katie lost 41 pounds, I'm 41 years old, that's no coincidence. <laughs> <laughs> so Katie's amazing. Um, she's grown so much since we first met as a leader, as a stepmom, as a future wife. I, I personally could not be more proud, and I'm going to stop there. So. Um, when I, when I first met Katie on a random Thursday night in Dewey Beach, um, the first thing that struck me was her charisma and her passion. And I was like, I was like, okay. So we kept hanging out that night, kept hanging out. I was like, all right, well, thinking about going somewhere else. I was with some friends of mine. I was like, you know what? I'm not, I'm not going to go anywhere. I'm going to stay here and hang out. And that continued and continued and continued. And it helped me really understand why people liked Katie. And um, to this day, she has the same charisma, the same passion, the same willingness to love on you the second that she meets you. And that's a quality that's really hard to find. And when Katie and I started dating, she was a teacher. And she would say, I don't have time to talk while I'm in school. You know, I was like, oh, I totally get it. And she's like, but I'm working my Arbon business. I was like, you don't have time to talk to me, but you're texting and working your Arbon business at school? She's like, yeah, I am. I got to go. I'll call you later. I'm like, okay. <laughs> So, I also found out that she got in trouble for texting in school. Not me, but texting all the folks that she works with in Arbonne. So, she got written up twice as a teacher. No <laughs> 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 Um When I really, and for those of you that saw my post congratulating Don't Katie start. about becoming an MVP, one of the things that I said was, as a boyfriend that learned that she did Arbonne, the first inclination that I had was to tell her to stop doing that. Why would you do you know, network marketing? It's not a good thing. That's what I grew up hearing. The problem was I didn't know why. I just knew it wasn't good. So I didn't. I sat. I watched. I learned. I tried the products. Reluctantly at first. Now they're daily routine. <laughs> and you know, I ran, I ran this Arbonne thing through my own little little filter and it's you know when you're with a company are you truly an entrepreneur because Katie said my business my business I'm like you don't have a business you have Armand but it actually is a business and you know I tried to figure out are you an entrepreneur or are you a entrepreneur? and an entrepreneur makes money while they sleep and they change people's lives and a entrepreneur, those are people that start something on their own that basically is just a job and I'm not going to call out professions or anything along that line, but we get tied to that. We get tied to a job if you're a entrepreneur. If you're an entrepreneur, you don't. You don't. We go to the beach on a Saturday, and she's like, yes, that girl I was talking to finally did it. She finally ordered. I'm so happy. Why? Because she said she needed this for a very long time, and she finally pulled the trigger. That's fantastic. These are things that happen because of all the seeds that you plant over time. So, you know, that was... That was my experience with Arbonne in the beginning. It was me running it through the filters, and I couldn't be prouder or happier for what she's been able to do with this business and to help. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> and to help so many people get healthier and change their own lives. Um, a couple things that I've learned over the years, which, you know, first and foremost, one of the things that I really learned is that the only thing that matters are the people that are with you. Okay? All of you who are here, I want to personally thank you for coming. If you came for Katie, thank you. If you came because there's somebody who's on Katie's team that you are supporting, thank you. If you came for yourself because you wanted to meet new people, thank you. If you wanted to support Katie, thank you. I appreciate every single one of you, and I want to have a round of applause for you.
So a couple things that I've learned over time. I got like another minute and I'm done. So <laughs> supportive partners. You either are or you're not. Think about that. You know, if there's somebody that you know that does something that you don't like, are you supporting them in it? Because you don't, even though you don't like it, you should be. They're your partner. You want them to be better. If they enjoy it, you should be on their team every day. Um, what I've also figured out is that as humans, we do a very, very poor job of making short-term decisions to help our long-term goals. And I see it every day. Whether it's health, whether it's saving money, whether it's saving money, whether it's making decisions to read. I still haven't I still haven't meditated. That's been on my list for a couple of years now. <laughs> um, but we make short term decisions that are that are bad because it's hard to do that. It's hard to make short term decisions to help ourselves. And a lot of times it takes something like getting a student loan bill that you really didn't want to come in the mail before you actually make a change, a material change that's going to change your life. I see Katie do this every day. It's not easy. But I'll tell you, I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud of you. I'm done. This microphone is awful. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. So at this time, I want to do quick recognition. I'm going to call you guys up by your title, your category. I have some gifts for you. I'm going to be handing them to you. We're going to get a quick pick. And then I have a slideshow. We're going to wrap this up. Okay. And then there's still food to eat and drinks at the bar and music to be heard and raffles to be handed out. So. At this time, if I can have all of the consultants on my team, please stand up. Consultants, not district managers. Consultants. Thank you, guys. Okay. I would like you guys all to come up to the front. Hey, Ash and Amy, can you guys come back? You can give them all. Amy, you can give them all. Five. And then come line up over by the EMVP, you guys. These are our soon-to-be district managers. They will be promoting to the first level of the company this month. That is the thousand dollar pay rate. All right, guys, set. Power. Ready? Okay. Okay. Perfect. Oh yeah, right out. Thank you, guys. Congratulations. All my district managers, please stand and come on up to the front. These are our district managers, you guys. First level of the company. And if you can go district manager, you can go national vice president. Because all it is is teaching everyone to go to that first level of the company. So these are our rock stars. The oh, and it's fun. <laughs> Does anyone? Hello. Does anyone know my favorite color? No. <laughs> Is it obvious? Okay. Now I would like to recognize. Well, we have several area managers on our team. However, many of them are not local. I have two. 
two of them are here tonight, and I want to rival both of them. Dr. Heather Ropes, can you come up to the front? Here's for you. This girl is a rock star. She came into this business just a few months ago and promoted to the second level of the company within just a couple weeks. And I know it's because she's helping so many people with their health to change their life. So Heather, I'm just so proud of you. Stay up here, okay? Here, take a picture. Carla Mercado. <laughs> Carla Mercado is someone with the biggest heart. Everyone says I have a good heart, a big heart. She has a big heart. And you change people's lives when you walk in the room because you make everyone feel so special. I'm so proud of you and everything that you're doing with your business, but in your life. She's a bride-to-be. She's getting married in a month. <laughs> and here's a special gift for you. I'm so proud of you. Good job. There are about eight area managers on our team. However, a lot of them are in Florida. Victoria's team has a lot of them in Florida. I, I don't like this thing. Okay. <laughs> and I want to call up my Reese. <laughs> Regional Vice President Victoria Van Meter. <laughs> But I kept asking, and it was fine. It worked out. I showed up in a bar with Todd. I was like, we gotta go to North Beach. I gotta go see Victoria. He's like, oh man, here we go again. She eventually did meet me for coffee, and from there, she's changed her life. And I know it started with helping her with student loans, but this girl has become such a leader. She's brought people in and truly created special, unique relationships with every single person that comes into her organization. And I know that that's why you're going to the top this year. And I'm so proud of you and everything that you've created. And I wish Peter was here tonight. But I just am so proud of you and I'm so excited for what's to come. And last but not least, Executive National Vice President Liz Nicholson. My upline, the person that handed me this gift. Woo! <laughs> I knew you'd love that. Here. Yep. Yep. Yes. Okay, so earlier I was telling you that we get to spoil our team. So uh, when Katie promoted to regional vice president, we did go shopping to David Yerman, and that was so fun. And then when she promoted to national vice president, we went back to King of Prussia Mall, and this time we went to the I'm going to hand it to you. So this, <laughs> this, well, this time we went to the Louis store, and she got to pick out her own Louis bag. And it's so cute. And inside it has, well, there's a cute bracelet. And then it, anyway, never mind. Yeah. So congratulations. Bye. <laughs> Thank you.
so much, Liz, for leading me and being such an amazing friend and bridesmaid. Woo! So, you guys, I, this, this here, these two are for two very special people that helped me out today. One of them being my mom. So, can you come up here? She hates crowds. Yes. <laughs> but we have to get over up here. I am so grateful. She can't, she can't just stay. This woman gives with all of her freaking heart, but she doesn't like to receive. And I will tell you right now, she is the reason that I got my hair done today, my makeup done today. She took me, and it was so much fun, but she always is there. She was the first person at my launch. She shows up at everything I asked her to come to. If there's something I forgot, she did it. All of these raffles, she helped me with. She didn't need to do that, but she is the reason that I'm standing here today ready for this event, but just in life. And I'm just thankful to you, and you don't hear it enough. You're amazing, and I'm so grateful. She can't do this. I'm going to stop. <laughs> and Kelbell. You might have a little something, something. So, I owe Kelly a lot, and John, I have, I'm not going to give you Kendra, but... <laughs> Busy. <laughs> so I asked two very special people to me to help to tell two very important people to me to help me tonight. And Kelly showed up early, got her work done, and came here and helped take pictures of me. Thank you, Todd. <laughs> but I just want to thank you for always being there and always helping me with my pictures, even though you're like, come on, hurry up, let's go. But she just keeps it real, and she always does show up, and if there's anything I need, she answers the phone, and it's just, she's just always by my side. And you guys, this is my sister, she's my maid of honor, she's my best friend, and I'm just so grateful to have you, and now you feel awkward too. What is wrong with the casual? I'm right this side. Love you all. Oh, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> so at this time, I want to switch over to the raffles, and then we're going to close out. And I want you guys to finish eating and drinking and all of that. So you guys, raffle time. I'm going to ask Todd to come and do the raffles. We're going to hand them out. You're going to be the nobleman. So, so pull your raffle tickets out. Here we go. Yeah, you need to make sure you put your other side in the bag. If you didn't, bring them to the front. Here we go, you guys, your centerpieces are raffles, so the girls are going to be coming around and handing them out. If they even want to she has to understand Alright, I need to see what it is. So, we got the, what? All right, I'm just gonna just hand them out because if not, we're gonna be here all night, and I don't I don't want to hold you guys through that. But some awesome stuff. <laughs> and two products. Number eight one three, eight four, one three. Okay. How we doing? You want me to say it again? Raffles. You have five seconds, and we're gonna move on. Winner. Eight one three. Winner stuck? Yeah, okay. Next! Ready? Rescue and renew line. 813-8641. Woo! Woo! What? Rescue and renew! 
What's your number? <laughs> Where is it? He wants to make protein balls. He told me. 813 Okay, this is the bath time gift set. This is a holiday special that I had left over from this Christmas. 813-8753. Can't buy this anymore. Who gets it? Have you tried 8753. Right here. Woo! We have so many. Okay. Prep work. Overnight face jelly. Salt focus bill. 813 8504. Woo! Woo! Whoa, this is a big one. Fiber, shaker cup, and pomegranate fist sticks. Yo! This person didn't rip their ticket. So I'm going to pick the one in the middle. 813 